The meeting was a brainstorming session by heads of various security agencies, Independent National Electoral Commission, leadership of political parties, and the media as they dissected and evolved strategies on how to ensure free, fair, credible, and violent free gubernatorial and state out of assembly election in Logun State come March 11, 2023, while promising to provide a level playing ground for all political parties in Logun State to perform their civic obligations. The Commissioner of Police reminded them of the consequences that followed the breach of the Electoral Law 2022 as amended, charging party supporters to deceive from political toggery and other acts capable of putting them in trouble. Under the current Electoral Act, we want to remind you that unlawful possession of ballot boxes, ballot paper, illegal printing of ballot materials, or even illegal importation of ballot materials attracts a penalty of 50 million naira. Other stakeholders, including INEC Resident Electoral Commissioner in Nugun State, Niji Ijalayi, appeal to party leadership and supporters to be peaceful in their conduct before, during, and after the elections. Let our manifesto speak for us. And we must also let you know that. Uh, Violence of any sort will not be tolerated during that exercise. Or someone loses and the other person wins, and we decide to vandalize or to burn or to destroy all these infrastructures. Remember what goes around comes around. We are the one that will feel the impact. The representatives of political parties in attendance pledged to take the message of peaceful conduct to the grassroots.